as Nigerians and the labor unions continue to wait on Tinubu to submit the new proposals for the minimum wage to the National Assembly for onward approval, a senator representing Nasarawa West Senatorial District has called on Tinubu to approve nothing less than 150,000 Naira as minimum wage for workers. Senator Ahmed Wadada said, quote, I have expressed my opinion in the past on the issue and I am going to reiterate here. For me as a person, the minimum a worker should earn is 150,000 Naira, looking at the realities of today." Unquote. Senator Wadada also said that other lawmakers were willing to make sacrifices to reduce their allowances and salaries in order for the workers to be paid 150,000 Naira per month. This is a good take from the senator. It's also an acceptance that the senators are earning humongous salaries that are not justifiable in a country where more than 130 million people are living in poverty. It is inhuman and almost criminal for lawmakers to be earning up to 30 million naira per month. That's about $20,000 per month going by 1,500 naira to $1. This sums up to $240,000 per year. Even in the United States, senators don't end this humongous amount. Politics is supposed to be for people that are already accomplished in life. They are ready to serve the people, not to start seeking for offices where they will enrich themselves again. It is only in Nigeria and Africa that you see politicians who make a career out of politics. Since the Fourth Republic, there are people even in the National Assembly that have been there in and out of office since 1999. Since the military handed over power to civilians, these people have been in and out of office either as advisors, special advisors, governors, senators, house of rep members. They've been in and out of office since 24 years. So these kind of politicians who see politics as a way they will enrich themselves and corner all the resources of the state, they will never do anything in the interest of the masses. That's why Nigerians must wake up and make demands like Kenyans are demanding from their lawmakers they trooped out en masse to demand that they reverse the finance bill where they wanted to tax bread and many other food items. I'm here for Kenya, I'm here for my people, I'm here for your rights. People are already suffering in Nigeria but no one wants to go out and protest and make the people in power to understand that they are going through hard times. If you don't make demands from people in power, they will never concede anything to you. They will say, ah, there is no hardship. These people are not feeling anything. That's why no one is even protesting or telling them that, hey, please reverse this, reverse that, make life meaningful, make food affordable. But people are expecting that it will magically work, that one miracle will make anything, all the price of goods that have gone over the roof, that one miracle will just make them to fall back to what it was a year ago. It never happens. There's no free lunch. You have to make demands. By the way, no one knows what the new minimum wage is, but it's obvious that it's not up to 100,000 Naira per month, not to talk of 150,000 Naira per month. Because if it were, the government would have made it public long ago so that people will hail them and say, ah, thank you, you are doing best. They will start praising them. Yes, the fact that it is still hidden and going by the last offer the government representatives made to the labor unions, that's talking about the 62,000 Naira where they stopped. And of course, labor said no, that they are still at 250,000 Naira, that they will never accept anything less unless the government comes to a compromise. So the fact that it is still hidden, no one knows the actual amount they will present to the National Assembly. It shows that the amount might still be around the 62,000 Naira they offered the labor unions. Gentlemen of the press, we are calling on government to be much more responsive to the plight of the Nigerian workers. We are calling on them that the hardship that we are currently facing is as a result of the policies that we have brought about by this government that we felt we have not well thought out. And also, what has fed into this that we all know uh, is quite obvious. The removal of oil subsidy, the flotation of Naira, and the increment of electricity uh, price hike. 